Welcome to a new video on operating system. Now we know that there are different types of computers exist in our market and each and every type of computer system requires an operating system to function properly. Now in this video we are going to learn about this operating system. So we will basically learn what is an operating system, the need of the operating system, the functions of an operating system, the features of the operating system, the different types of operating system that are actually exist in our market and some examples of operating systems. So let's start the video. According to the definition of the operating system, an operating system is a system software that makes the computer system operational. It provides an interface between the user and the computer. So, operating system, which is a group or set of programs that manages the computer system resources like files, folders, components, external hardware, the devices connected to the computer and other application softwares that run on the computer. And it plays an important role that makes the computer system operational for the users to work on it. So, now let Let's look on this picture. So operating system which works as an interface between the user and the computer hardware system and without the operating system the computer is basically non-operational because the applications programs that are used the that are uses operating system to run successfully on the computer. So without operating system it is impossible to work on the computer. So now we will learn the need of an operating system. So as we know that the operating system provides an interface between the user and the computer. So definitely it provides a platform on the top of which the other programs those are called the application programs can run. So these application programs are created to help the users to perform a specific task very easily. Operating system, it provides the user an easy to work interface so the users without of knowing uh, knowledge about the operating system can work very easily as it provides the icons or visual indicators so without help of this user just can simply click on the process and the instructions and definitely we don't need to remember the process such in a complex way so it gives the user a feel free and easy to use interface so user can work in a very easy way and definitely the interface is a very productive interface Next one, this operating system, it controls the various input output resources inside in the system and allocates them according to the requirements by the user. Operating system manages the memory and definitely it helps the other programs to run on each on their memory space and definitely it allows the other programs to communicate with each other through the shared memory concept. Operating system as it provides the security so it prevents the unauthorized user to get access inside the computer now we will learn some important functions of the operating system as we know that operating system has a variety of functions to perform so we will learn some basic and primary functions of the operating system let's start with it the first one is processor management now operating system allocates the process to a processor it allocates the processor to execute a process and deallocates the processor when it is no longer required and each and every time it keeps track all of the processes and status of the process nowadays we are using a multi programming operating system so more than one processes are used to run on the computer system so it keeps tracks in that case it keeps tracks all of the processes that are running in the computer system and the status of each and every process next one which is memory management now 
we know that the operating system manages the memory which is basically called the primary memory or the RAM so primary memory it provides a faster storage that can be accessed directly by the CPU so operating system keeps tracks of the primary memory the part of the primary memory that are being used by the other processes and the part which are not currently uses since nowadays we are using the multi-programming operating system so obviously it, de it de decides that which memory it ensures that the memory is made available to the applications without any kinds of conflicts it is available to the applications as and when required so in that case it keeps tracks of the primary memory utilization and like the processing management it allocates the memory and deallocates the memory when it is no longer required next one which is device management so operating system manages the devices communication via their respective drivers it ensures that all the devices work properly and also keeps tracks of the devices that how much they are taking time to get a respond and the other things also so the program which is responsible for this task is known as the IO controller so it keeps tracks all of the devices and ensures the smooth delay free flow data the devices which get process get the device when and for how much time it keeps track of all these devices allocates the devices as it as per the requirement and deallocates it when it is no longer required next important task for an operating system is the file management so definitely as computer manages the resources files and folders inside in the computer system so it ensures that files are saved in the proper format utilizing the minimum space and the file is available as and when required by the user or the other processes so these are the main and primary tasks for an operating system without of this the operating system without the operating system means as we know that the computer system is basically non-operational so except this we have another activities we have also some activities that performed by the operating system it is one of the main activities is the security so it provides an access only to the authorized user provides the access only to the authorized user that the user can access the programs and data by setting up their password and other similar procedures it keeps tracks of the time and resource utilization by various processes or the user is called a process accounting obviously the production of the dumb stresses error messages and other debugging and error detecting aids so it keeps tracks all kinds of these operations so that is also a, another function of an operating system and it coordinate between the softwares and the users so these are the main and primary Im important functions for an operating system that perform inside in a computer now we will learn some features of an operating system an operating system is a program that acts as an interface between the user and the computer system so it makes the computer system convenient to use in a very effective manner an operating system is developed in such a way that it can work on different hardware platforms so no matter what we are using the hardware platform an operating system is developed in that way that it is easy it can get installed in any hardware platform it supports the user to easily access and use the other resources properly that are connected to the computer system obviously it is a specialized software that controls 
and monitors the execution of all the programs that are being reside on the computer that are being running or executing inside in the computer including the application program and other system programs also it has an administrative user obviously operating system has an administrative user which has the right to change the default computer setting so now we will learn the types of operating system as there are different types of operating system available in the market so we will learn the classifications the first one is a single user os now single user operating system allows only one user to process or to execute a job at a time so only one user can execute a job at a single time this is a single user operating system for example disk operating system is a single user operating system multi user operating system in case of multi user operating system it supports more than one user that perform a more than one job at a same time the examples of multi user operating system is unix windows nt windows 2000 etc now multitasking operating system it supports a uh, simultaneous execution of more than one task in case of multitasking operating system it supports simultaneous execution of more than one task at the same time and the examples are linux unix and windows operating system so we have distributed operating system it uses multiple central processors to serve multiple real time applications and multiple users at the same fraction of time now we use the distributed operating system to perform the data processing jobs and the examples of distributed operating system are locus and micros next one is network operating system a network operating system that runs on a server and provides the server the capability to manage data users groups security applications and other networking functions the primary purpose of this operating system is to allow shared file and printer access among the multiple computers in a network typically it can be a local area network or other a private network also to other networks the examples are windows server 2008 mac os novel netware etc next one which is real time operating system the real time operating system it performs the processes based on the real time inputs now it is used in the field of robotics highly complex animations virtual reality advanced scientific projects like this so they the real time operating system it performs the operations based on the real time inputs the examples are linux ox windows ce etc next one which is a time sharing operating system so in case of a time sharing operating system is it allows multiple users to share the processor's time simultaneously by dividing that cpu time slot cpu time into multiple slots uh, typically between 10 millisecond to 100 milliseconds so time sharing is a technique which enables many people located at various terminals to use a particular computer system at the same time so we can say that the time sharing is a logical extension of multi programming the processor time which is shared among the multiple users simultaneously and is termed as time sharing so the examples of time sharing operating system is the ibm's mvs so these are the various types of operating system we are using are uh, that are available also in the market last one which is the batch processing operating system in this os the all kinds of job that are to be processed are accepted as a group this group is called the batch and the processes together at a predefined time slot 
so in batch processing os first we will accept the jobs in a group which is called the batch and process this batch file together at a predefined time slot the examples are ibm mvs Now next we will run some examples of operating system so according to the devices that are available in the market we have the computing devices like desktop laptop and we have handheld devices like smartphones and tablets so operating system are categorized in this way some operating system that are developed to work on the computing devices and some are developed in the way to work on the handheld devices so the computer uh, the operating system that are developed to work on computing devices are linux unix microsoft windows macintosh operating system developed by the apple computers and the operating system which are developed for handheld devices are android windows symbian operating system solaris ios that is also made by apple and blackberry operating system our next topic which is an user interface so according to the definition user interface that forms a bridge or junction between a user and the computer program so as we know that an interface is a set of commands menus or icons through which a user communicated with a computer program so it determines how the commands are given to the computer or the program instructions get processed and how the user gets the output from the computer so here there are main three types of user interface are available character user interface menu driven interface and graphical user interface so in case of character user interface it is used to interact with computer programs and allows the users to give command or instruction as one or more lines of text these are referred to as the command lines to a computer program so it accepts inputs in the form of characters and numbers this is why it is also called command line user interface here an user can give the input using the keyboard and to get to see the output on the monitor so obviously it doesn't support the use of the pointing devices such as mouse and to perform each and every instructions we have to remember the commands the examples of this character user interface are microsoft disk operating system apple disk operating systems unix etc second one which is menu driven interface in this interface it enables the user to use on screen text based menus that shows all the options available the options that are selected using the arrow keys pressing the enter key from the keyboard or by just clicking the mouse buttons the example of menu driven interface is pro dos nowadays the menu driven interface are most commonly used in atm machines movie ticket machines and information kiosk the advantage of menu driven interface is that it is very easy to use but we have the disadvantage also that it's getting one particular option can often involve working through many different menu screens now next we have most commonly used interface which is graphical user interface it consists of graphical components such as windows icons menu and pointer all together they called wimp for interacting with the computer it allows the user to interact with the computer through the icons and visual indicators instead of using the text based interface so user can simply click them to process the instructions 
and obviously user no need to remember the complex command lines or procedures the user can simply give instruction using the keyboard and the mouse and can get output the output can be seen on the monitor so this is the most user friendly environment that has been provided to the user and you uses nowadays by the operating systems the examples are windows operating system macintosh operating system they are uses the graphical user interfaces so this is all about the operating system thanks for watching the video and if you like the video then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon for regular updates